we have been telling stories our entire careers. They're doing work on the viaduct. You know, the, the viaduct is sinking. You know, people do not want to lose this. My name is Steve Ringman. I'm a photographer at the Seattle Times. Uh, I'm being transitioned into doing more and more multimedia, so I'm still a photographer. Steve's a very talented photographer. He's twice been awarded the best, the top news photographer in the country. I'm uh, in general assignment pretty much that whole time. I love going on the road, doing stories. Uh, that's my favorite. And it'll be huge changes soon. 15 years ago, that's when it was solid black and white. Uh, we would go to a film processing room, put your film on reels, and then uh, process, and then you dry it and print it uh, on a sheet of paper, yeah, photo paper, and uh, you know, it was really a lot of fun though too, because you'd be in a, in a dark room, and uh, it's very social. Now, you know, everyone is like at their computer, and they're just completely focused on their computer. So it's very different. You know, the, the landscape is changing um, rapidly for people's attention, for their eyeballs, for a lot of papers are losing money or they're, they're advertising revenue and they're trying to juggle things around so they can continue to make money as a business. They're trying to figure out the dollars and cents parts of, of multimedia and, you know, we have to think in those terms too. We'll be struggling for a few years to figure that out. I hope it's not too painful. Job security? I don't know. I'm really looking ahead. I really want to learn more about multimedia. I'm trying to learn it on my own, basically. At this point, you know, I need to learn how to do it so that I can tell other people how to do it also. Um, there, there is no plan. How's that for a point? The Viaduct story, I didn't, I didn't know about that until the night before. That was one of those stories that, that really isn't visual. Still-wise, it was pretty staticky. It was a little hard. It was like pulling teeth a little bit to get a photo out of it. You know, the, the action of construction, uh, you know, 10 seconds, 15, 30 seconds worth of action like that would help draw people in, I think. That, that would have lent itself to, to video, I think. Still photographers make great, great videographers. The way they see is so important. That becomes very key in, in creating storytelling with beautiful images. That's why I feel like the photo department has got to be the leader on good video content. Today, I'm photographing, oh, I'll be shooting uh, the head of Corvus. I better have my act together on this one. <laughs> saw me, I panicked a bit, then everything came together fine. <laughs> so if you had a message to give journalists coming out of school? Well, I mean, right they now. have to know how to do it all. They have to be able to record it with sound or with video, you know, take a picture with their cell phone. If, it's a, if they come running up to a fire, shoot it with your cell phone and transmit it back. I mean, that's the mindset that we've got to get into. As young journalists, we've got to be really talented and you have to really work hard but there's going to be opportunity. <laughs>